When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. So, the day before I released my review of Has Been Hotel, Busy Pop released another animated pilot. I'm always slightly late for these bandwagons. I was slightly late for the Has Been Hotel bandwagon, the Coppa bandwagon, and now the Hell of a Boss bandwagon. Now, because the Hell of a Boss pilot came out shortly after the Has Been Hotel pilot, it had a lot to live up to. I mean, after all, everybody loved the Has Been Hotel pilot. Well, most people did. But luckily, just like Has Been Hotel, for the most part, this pilot was positively received. In fact, some people say it's even better than Has Been Hotel. But is that true? Well, it certainly does a few things better than Has Been Hotel. For one thing, I like the animation a lot more. Granted, it is in the same style, but the backgrounds are more diverse. There's not so much red this time. Now granted, that is because they spend a lot of their time in an office or in the human world, but they can get away with it because the premise of the show is different. Instead of about the daughter of the devil opening up a hotel to rehabilitate sinners, it's about a small group of imps who have a portal to the living world, and demons in hell hire them to kill people in the living world. Hi there, I'm Blitz, the O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. While the premise of Has Been Hotel is definitely a lot more unique, but people, as much as they try to lie to themselves saying they just want plots that are original and new, they're a lot more comfortable with things that are familiar. If you gave me the pilot of Has Been Hotel and told me to make a show out of it, I wouldn't really know what to do. But if you gave me the pilot of Imp and told me to make a show out of it, I definitely could do that. But remember, a pilot doesn't equal an entire show. Take Death Note, for example. The premise is unique, but uh, if you gave someone the premise alone and that's it, they probably wouldn't make a story that's nearly as good as the one in the manga. But the guy who came up with Death Note was an absolute genius and he made the story work. Up to the point where many people say it's their favorite anime of all time. Wait, what were they talking about? Oh yeah, hell of a boss. Now, the voice acting in Has Been Hotel was pretty good, but this one has the voice actor of Zim from Invader Zim. Honey, can you get me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> Hearing Zim swear and sing a cheesy love song is something I never thought I wanted, but now I want it, and I have it. Millie's voice actor is decent for the most part. What about a car wash? Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... what? I thought I knew you. But every now and then, she has this southern accent that comes in out of nowhere. That's my husband you're talking to! Now, it might be intentional, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Unlike this. Doctor, he's not responding! Hooray for trans representation. Also, I'm digging the designs of the humans. Granted, they have anime hair. But if they weren't stylized, they would look really off. Considering everything Busy Pop makes is very stylized, making it take longer to animate. Also, the humans are aware that demons exist. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The freak is insurance! Now, if you want to make the argument that only a few humans know about demons, no, they show up on the news, heavily implying everybody knows about demons in this world. Please! If anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall! You're welcome! Which raises a lot of questions. If humans know about demons in this world, then they have even more of a reason to be good people so they don't get sent to hell. But then again, Vizzy Pop's interpretation of hell really isn't that bad. 
It's not a pit of eternal suffering like in the Bible or Dante's Inferno. It's just a city you're sent to where you can possibly die. It's basically Detroit with furries. There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. Who cares about global warming? Demons exist! In this universe, Al Gore would be going on about Man Bear Pig, not global warming. But this also raises the question, why would anyone hire the immediate murder professionals? If there's a demon in hell and they hate someone in the living world who they want dead, they hire the immediate murder professionals. But all that would do is send them to heaven, which is a paradise, or send them to hell with them. And once that person finds out they put a hit on them, they're probably going to seek their revenge. I mean, it would be a lot more logical if someone hired the imps to capture someone from the living world so they could torture that person from the living world instead of killing them, either sending them to paradise or sending them to the same hell Detroit they live in. Now, Hell of a Boss does take place in the same universe as Has Been Hotel, and they do make references to it, such as a billboard for 666 News being in the background, and one of the employees, Luna, is watching Charlie's commercial for the Happy Hotel on her computer. Now that's good world building. Maybe they'll have a crossover one day. Oh yeah, also the sound effects are far less annoying in Hell of a Boss than in Has Been Hotel. Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Now, do I think that the pilot for Hell of a Boss is better than the pilot for Has Been Hotel? Yes, but here's the thing. Hell of a Boss is clearly going to be an episodic show, while Has Been Hotel is going to have an overarching plot. So while I do think the Hell of a Boss pilot was better, I think that the first season of Has Been Hotel is going to be better than the first season of Hell of a Boss. But we can't know for sure. We're just going to have to wait and see. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube, debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on.